This how tools video is about the FLIR 1 Gen 3 Android thermal camera. It connects directly into the USB-C plug on an Android phone and conveniently has a scroll wheel to project in and out the USB-C port for a good fit against the phone. There is one charge plug and an on off button on the unit. The camera uses the FLIR 1 app available in the Google Play Store. The camera is very easy to use but some quirks may cause issues for first time users. Notably, it takes several seconds for the camera to connect to the app and the user may be left wondering if the devices are connected or not. The software supports a variety of color schemes to highlight useful data being recorded and although the refresh rate wasn't very high while connected to my old Motorola G Power cell phone, the refresh was completely suitable for my investigations needing a thermal camera. The camera clearly identifies cold spots around doors and windows, also around uninsulated wall headers and displaced attic insulation. This use case alone can be very valuable in identifying insulation issues in both hot and cold climates. It also illuminates my in-floor heating, even detecting thermal variation on the heating's thermal plates. I've used this feature a number of times to easily identify the location of heated lines such that I could drill carefree into the flooring when necessary. Another use is identifying electrical issues, which can easily be identified as a hot spot in an electrical circuit. I did notice that the camera did not work well estimating the temperature of stainless steel, which in this video of my pellet stove reported 80 degrees, while the actual temperature was closer to 160 degrees. The original packaging for the device I nearly immediately lost, and the device is quite compact and now lives attached to my old cell phone. There are a number of applications for this tech uh, which is very cool, but is rather specialized. It is very easy to use to record pictures and videos with the application. The cost of this device is affordable in my opinion, costing about $190. This type of technology can be very expensive, and I think this lower cost unit is perfect for the casual DIYer. The return on investment is fair, as it makes thermal troubleshooting a snap from hot water tanks, hot water baseboard systems, home insulation review, automotive air conditioning, and many other applications. I rank this tool a 17.5 out of 25, which is a grade B on the How Tools rating scale. If you have any questions on this tool, feel free to reach out. As always, have a great one and happy tooling.